Hey Sam, do you have an easy recipe where I can make a steak in one pan with mushrooms and not make a whole mess? I sure do. Stand by for this. I love getting questions like that. So that's the plan. Steak, one pan, mushrooms, delicious sauce. There's wine, there's beef broth, there's some garlic involved. You're gonna dig this. And you don't make a huge mess, man. And is that not an important thing, really? Huge. Thank you. I love it when I get a little response from these guys. Apparently, Huge. there you go, Max Max is coming in now, okay. So, um, we cook our steaks, sear them outside beautifully, take them out of the pan, mushrooms go in, all the rest of the junk, steaks go back in, finish cooking, then we eat them. Sound good? Huh? 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 So, this is part of a new series we just come up with. We're calling it, <clears throat> Dinner on the Table in Less Than 30 Minutes. And so you'll immediately be able to recognize it. We're gonna put this little logo right in the corner of the thumbnails. So you can go, oh, that's another cooking guy. Dinner on the table in less than 30 minutes. Perfect. Honey, we've only got 30 minutes. All right, here's what I've got. Three fillets, but small ones. They're about the four-ish ounces each. Look, the way that this cooks in the pan, it's best not to use those big fat guys. So little guys like this are perfect. And we're gonna season to get them going. Little chosen avocado oil, of course, and a generous sprinkling of kosher salt and pepper on all three. Flip them over, do the same thing. And then let's put them on a hot pan, shall we? Oh, we shall, Sam. All right, we're using our grill because don't forget, a grill is just a stove in an oven that's outside. We talk about this all the time. The pan's hot, we're gonna add a little bit more avocado oil, beautiful. And then our little steaks go in. And that's the sound you want. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the sound of searing. The right things are happening to the outside of the steaks. But the only thing we're doing right now is getting a little sear. A little bit of color on the outside. And then we'll give them a quick flip. Well, it doesn't have to be a really quick flip. that another minute or so all right we'll take them out put them in a little plate or a bowl turn down the heat a bit get ready for our next step and that is a little bit more oil and mushrooms and i've got about i don't know about uh, six to eight ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms max wanted me to use shiitakes but i said max i use shiitakes all the time we should try something different We'll just let these start to cook a little bit. Okay, tiny more splash of uh, avocado in the middle. In goes a clove of garlic. Remember, what are we waiting for? Yes. Fragrance. Fragrant. That's right, Chancellor. That's right. And that's now. You guys have no idea how quick this is all gonna happen. Beautiful. So here's a question we keep getting. Do you guys have a Discord server? And I can now say, Yes, we do have a Discord server, am I right? Boys. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. So Discord, if you don't know, I'm sure you do. I'm older than all of you put together basically, but I know. Discord, let's think of it as a giant chat room dedicated to all things Sam the Cooking Guy. What did you call it, Chance? It's like a Cooking Guy Community Hub. Cooking Guy Community Hub. He's the youngest, of course he's hippest to all this. What we love about it is it's a spot that we can communicate with you, you can communicate with us, you can post pictures of your food, you can ask questions, you can, anything that you can think of can happen there. If we do something special here, we'll be like, Put it on the server. And when we say that, you'll know we mean the Discord server. And it will be there. Shots we take during. Behind the scenes stuff. Pictures I get of Max being embarrassed or doing something foolish and he's never foolish or that or chance or whatever. Put it on the server. Is it on the server? It will be on the server. What we really like, it's free 99. That means it's free. No dollars out of your pocket. It takes about 15 seconds to set up. So what you do, click the link in the description below and we'll see you on the other side. This is gonna be great. Now that they're getting all sweaty and everything, now we'll add some flour over the top. Mix this in. And yes, it just becomes this dry sand-like paste. And that's all right. This will help thicken the sauce a bit. So now two liquids. The first will be some beef broth. About a half a cup. 
Beautiful. I love the smell, I love the smell. Next, about the same of red wine, I'm using a Cabernet Sauvignon. Now I can turn the heat back up a bit. Let this start to do its thing. Now let's add a couple other things. A smidge or two of steak sauce, maybe a tablespoon. About a tablespoon of soy. About a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Do you think they could make one of these things without that noise? There we go. We mix. Thickening, beautiful. And when it starts to bubble and simmer like this, our steaks will go back in with our steaks. I love this. I love this so much. If you like it so much, why don't you marry it? Shut up, you're being stupid. Little this, little this. And now boys, all we're doing is waiting for these steaks to come to temperature. And hey, temperature is fully up to you. So now we're just waiting, right? And how are we gonna know when they're ready, boys? We're gonna know because we're using an instant read digital thermometer that's gonna tell us. For example, if I brought this closer, because I don't want to get too hot, and picked up one of the steaks and poked my thermometer in the side to give us a reading. The steaks are currently about 105 degrees, 106. We want to get them to about 130. Perfect. It's not going to take very long. You're going to be in this pan just a couple of minutes. But you can see that if you were using a steak that was two inches thick, most of it would be above the water line and they wouldn't be cooking the same way on the top half as they would the bottom half, so fuck it. All right, last thing before we take them off, just a little green, come on. It has to be there. And so we're here, and I suppose we're gonna need to have some, right? So this, this, the thickness, this, this is all just, I'm so happy with this. I probably could have gotten one more in here. So make what you, oh, that's hot. Make what you want. Let me take one out. Ow. Shit, that just touched me. <laughs> or you touched it. That's what I meant. I suppose we could use a plate. But why use a plate when we have a whole cutting board? And then, I mean, a little more. Is that ever a bad thing? No. No, it's not a bad thing, is it? But now bite. This giant knife might be overkill, but it's what I have handy. See, it's perfect. Finish it in the pan. Oh my God, I'm just salivating already. Like I normally do at this point. Do you see that color? Pink it's, and perfect. It's gorgeous. Unless you like your steaks well done and then it sucks. And if you like your steaks well done, you like your steaks well done? You might as well not even eat steak, for goodness sakes. Fuck you people who like your steaks well done. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Stop it. Look, yes, I started with a tenderloin. So it's meant to be more tender. I could have overcooked the hell out of it and ruined it, and I didn't. The fact that it's not thick, the fact that it's thinner, helped it cook perfectly in this pan. Holy God, is that delicious. Yeah, I know we started off by saying dinner on the table in 30 minutes, but honestly, boys, really start to finish, this is more like dinner on the table in 20 15, minutes. 20, right, 15, yeah. 20 minutes. If you can't do this, <laughs> then you're just not trying. Honestly, I think that's what it is. All right, I'm gonna stand here and, and eat more and then we're all gonna eat some. Thanks everybody for being here. We'd love it if you'd subscribe. Support the show by subscribing. And the best part is, it costs you nothing. All you have to do is this, doot, that's it. A simple little doot and you're supporting us. And then, a little step further, you hit the notification bell, that's when you find out from us that there's new episodes up, like this. Our fabulous new dinner on the table in 30 minute series. Maybe we should call it under 30 minutes. We'll take that under advisement while I eat some more. Thanks. Don't eat the same shitty boring food all the time. See ya. <laughs>